G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jono. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, as I've been diving into the Camper Player, I just wanted to do a quick video on two of the best amps that are in this from stock, from factory. Uh, they are the Gundy Gilmore-ish and the 68 Mars Plexi 50K. So uh, we're gonna jump over to a little bit of um, you know, just what I've done to those two amps to create the track that you've heard a little bit of already uh, and how that's made it a little bit more of like my style um, with two with like some real simple tweaks that you can do so quickly and so easily on Rig Manager. So let's jump into it. So the first amp that I used on this track was uh, in bank number one, slot four, that is Gundy Gilmore-ish. That comes completely stock on uh, in the camper, uh, in the player, um, which, yeah. Is great. Obviously, it's meant to sound like David Gilmore and that song that I'm sure everyone's going to name in the comment section for me. It sounds great, just as just on just on the the neck in the middle position on the Ibanez. I really do think that Kemper's effects are just awesome. Uh, obviously, I am a Kemper user. Um, so this sound and feeling is not new to me, um, but I just love how so much of what the Kemper does when I'm playing in terms of feel and, and what it can give me, so much of that is in this small package of the player. It's great. Um, and one of the things that I love about this, you know, having a rotary speaker on and the phaser on, um, is that if you get some big chords, you can make them feel like kind of that three-dimensional kind of flavor. <laughs> So this one, I actually didn't change at all. I haven't changed this this setting at all uh, for that track, um, and I really don't think I would. It's clearly, it's a specialized um, preset rig. Um, so I didn't find that I need to change that at all. But the one I really wanted to talk about was the MB68 Mars Plexi 50K. I love Michael Britt's Marshalls, and I am a Marshall guy at heart, that's for certain. That one sounds like this. Now, this one, let me take it back to stock. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna turn the two tap delay off. And I'm also going to take the mix of the easy reverb right back down to where it was stock, which is about 15% uh, if I remember correctly. So the uh, Mars Plexi 50K, everything that you're seeing here is all stock apart from me putting this two tap delay on and changing the mix of this verb. And that sounds like this. <laughs> That sounds awesome. If anything, to me, it's actually getting me really quite close to my um, modded Marshall JMP profile that I, I have on my stage and that I have on my website. Um, that's my go-to rig, that, that modded JMP one. This one gets me kind of there. And the more we go through with this Kemper player, I'll figure out how, we can, how I can put my, my profile on there, but um, that's for another video. Anyway, so what I did with this, this um, Plexi 50K is I added the two tap delay, which now sounds like this. And the easy reverb, I took the mix up to 60-ish, 60 68%, I'm pretty sure it was. Somewhere around there, anyway. Sounds like this. So the idea, the idea was for me to have a little bit more of that kind of morphed feel. Um, uh, with, with the stage, I use the morph function a lot. So what I've done in the player is just make this, uh, this, this one, um, bank two, setting three, basically a bit more of a morphed feel. So bank two, number two, is 68, 68 minus plexi 50. Um, so a little bit less gain. 
so they're quite similar, but yeah, my one, I've just upped, upped the verb and put that two tap delay on. And it's a lot more of what I would expect from having my big Kemper stage on and the more function there available. So far, everything I've been able to do on this Kemper player has been super simple and easy, uh, and it's been inspirational as well. I've been able to make a, a track with two different sounds, two different tracks, and um, and some drum some drum loops, and and you're good to go. Um, and it was inspirational. It was you know um, getting that feeling uh, under the fingers that makes you want to keep playing. Um, and I just love that that thing that Kemper has is still in this tiny little this tiny little box. So much of what Kemper offers in terms of profiles, um, the thing that makes Kemper Kemper, that's available in such a small package. I'm absolutely digging it. So there we go, two of my favorite uh, settings or really usable settings, profiles, rigs on the Kemper player so far. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Please hit like and subscribe if you feel inclined. Head over to my website, johnoisguitar.com.au, and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.